Hello friends, today we would be doing the identification of chloride anion. The dilute sulfuric acid test is negative in this case, so we proceed to the concentrated sulfuric acid test. Procedure Heat the test tube containing the solid salt and concentrated sulfuric acid. A glass rod dipped in ammonia solution is shown above the test tube. Step 1 is to take the solid salt in the test tube. So here we are taking the solid salt into the test tube, a pinch of solid salt. The next step is to add the concentrated sulfuric acid into the salt. So here we are taking the sulfuric acid and adding the sulfuric acid drop wise into the salt. As soon as I add the salt, you can see the brisk effervescence with production of gas. Next, I will be heating the test tube so that the reaction will take place much faster and more amount of gas will be formed. Here I have a lot of gas being produced. The next step is to dip a glass rod in ammonia solution and place it above the mouth of the test tube. Here you can see the evolution of dense white fumes. Chloride reacts with concentrated sulfuric acid to produce hydrogen chloride gas which reacts with ammonia to produce ammonium chloride, the white fumes. Chlorine gas test involves heating a pinch of salt, manganese dioxide and concentrated sulfuric acid in a test tube and keeping a piece of cloth over the mouth of the test tube. Step 1 is to take some solid salt in a test tube. Here I have already taken the salt. Step 2 is to add a pinch of manganese dioxide powder. Manganese dioxide is a black colored powder. Step 3 is to add few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid. You should always add concentrated sulfuric acid very slowly as it is very corrosive. You can observe the reaction taking place. Now we heat the contents of the test tube. While I heat the test tube, you can observe the vigorous reaction that is taking place. Here chlorine gas is being produced. Now we will test the presence of chlorine gas by placing a piece of red wet cotton into the test tube. After a few moments, you can observe the change in color of the cotton. The cotton is turning pale. You can see that the red color is being lost and it's turning white. Here greenish yellow chlorine gas is produced by the action of manganese dioxide and sulfuric acid on the chloride salt which bleaches the cloth. The second confirmatory test is the silver nitrate test. Here we take some salt solution and we add silver nitrate solution into it. Here I have already taken the aqueous solution of the salt and now I am adding silver nitrate solution. You can see the development of a curdy white precipitate. The precipitate formed will dissolve in excess of ammonium hydroxide. You should take care that ammonium hydroxide should be always in excess. So here I am taking the ammonium hydroxide and I will be adding about double the amount of the solution. You can see that immediately the precipitate dissolves. The white precipitate formed was silver chloride which reacts with excess of ammonium hydroxide to form diamine silver chloride which is soluble in water. 
chromine chloride test. Here we heat the salt, a pinch of solid potassium dichromate and concentrated sulfuric acid and pass the gas through sodium hydroxide. Step 1 is to add the solid salt into the test tube which I have already done and now we proceed to step 2 that is adding solid potassium dichromate into the salt. Potassium dichromate is having very beautiful orange colored crystals. Step 3 is to add concentrated sulfuric acid into the mixture and as I told you before add concentrated acid very slowly drop wise since it is corrosive. Now we heat the contents of the test tube. While heating we note the evolution of a reddish brown gas. Now step 5 is to collect the gas in another test tube containing sodium hydroxide solution. Observe the reaction. You can see that the gas is touching on the level of the sodium hydroxide solution and is dissolving in the sodium hydroxide solution and the solution is turning yellow. This is actually a very crude method of collecting the gas by placing a test tube inverted or just landing over the other test tube. The actual methods involve keeping a rubber cork in a glass delivery tube but since those things are not available for you students in the chemistry lab, we just use this technique. After collecting the gas, shake the tube vigorously and the solution is turned yellow. Now take this yellow solution and we acidify the solution by adding dilute acetic acid. The last and the final step of chromyl chloride test is to add the lead acetate solution into this acidified solution. Here you can observe the bright yellow precipitate. The reddish brown gas was chromyl chloride which reacted with sodium hydroxide to produce sodium chromate which in turn reacted with lead acetate to produce the lead chromate. Thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get updated about my new videos. Bye.